productivity. When you hear that word, what comes to mind? Do you picture planners and calendars or notepads or to-do list apps with checkboxes? Or maybe you imagine yourself typing away at your desk, getting stuff done, replying to emails and stuff like that. But what does it really mean to be more productive? And why are we always pushing ourselves to be more productive? Is it actually doing us any good? Today, I'm going to dig into why we want to be more productive, how we can spend our time on what matters most, and why you should focus on priorities over productivity. Stick around to the end because I'm going to share one of my favorite ways to feel more productive without just adding more things to my to-do list. So. Let's talk about what productivity really means. Productivity is actually defined as a measure of economic performance that compares the number of goods and services produced, output, with the number of inputs used to produce those goods and services. Boring, right? Are, are you still with me? I don't know about you, but that definition of productivity is not one that resonates with me. You and I aren't out here living our lives to simply increase outputs. We want to do things that matter, right? And if that's you, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're in the right place. There seems to be this major misconception that being more productive will solve all of your problems. If only I could be more productive, work quicker, more accurately, then I would have time to finally do what I really want. But when it comes down to it, productivity alone won't give you the life you want. One more time for the people in the back, productivity alone won't give you the life you want. We can cross things off our to-do list. We can run all the errands in the world, but if we're not doing the right things, none of it really matters. Let me ask you this. Why do you want to be more productive? Do you want to make more money in your business? Do you want to spend more time with your kids when you get home from work? Do you just want more time with yourself after you've completed all of your tasks and to-dos for the day? Aiming to be more productive without having a clear purpose won't get you anywhere. It'll shorten your task list, sure, and it'll give you a little bit more time to spend drinking your coffee. But if you aren't clear on your why, you're missing a big opportunity to create the life that you really want. Here are a few more questions to ask yourself. What does being more productive mean for me and my life? What will being more productive give me? What would it actually look like to be more productive? Keep those answers in mind, my friend, because we're about to find out if you're spending your time where it really counts. One of the best places to start when deciding what's a priority is to do a time study. I'm gonna bet that you can feel when you're spending time on what matters most to you. You feel more fulfilled. You end your days feeling accomplished rather than deflated or defeated and you feel motivated to keep taking more steps in the right direction. If you don't feel that way and you're not sure where your time's going, it's okay. I can help you learn more about how you're spending your time with something called a time study. A time study is actually something I encourage my time management coaching clients to do soon after we start working together. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one time management coaching with me, I've dropped a link down in the description below so you can learn more. Now, a time study is actually pretty simple. You're just recording how you're spending your time. Just grab a notebook or create a spreadsheet or use a time tracking app like Toggle to document how you're spending your time in 15 minute increments. Yes, 15 minutes. Be as specific as you can so it's clear how you spent that time, but don't worry about all of the itty bitty nitty gritty details. For example, instead of just writing down iPhone, be more specific and write scrolling Instagram. That gives you more insight and specificity into how you're spending your time. Instead of just recording work, instead, write down Zoom meeting with so-and-so about ABC topic. Now, I encourage you to do this time study for a full week. That's long enough to get a clear picture of how you're spending your time. And it may sound daunting, but it's definitely the best way to create more awareness about where your time's going. 
It'll also show you if you're spending more time on other people's priorities, if you're jumping around to different things throughout the day, or if you're spending more time on low priority, low impact tasks instead of tackling what's urgent and important. Shifting priorities. Now that your time study is complete, you can clearly see where and how you're spending your time. Is being productive really helping you reach your goals? Or are you just checking more things off of your list? It's time to prioritize what's most important to you. Here are three simple methods that you can use to prioritize just about anything. The Eisenhower Matrix is a decision-making tool that helps you decide what to do next based on what's urgent and what's important. When everything feels important, it can be really hard to decide what to do next. With the Eisenhower Matrix, you can decide whether to do something now, defer it for later, delegate it to someone else, or delete it altogether. If you've ever been a part of my Get a Game Plan workshop, then you're familiar with boulders, big rocks, and pebbles. And if you're not familiar, it walks you through the three steps to getting a game plan for your week. Don't worry, I've linked it down in the description below so you can check it out. What I really like about boulders, big rocks, and pebbles is that it helps you really picture everything you need to prioritize. Imagine a huge heavy boulder that won't move no matter how hard you push it. Now, picture big rocks. Big rocks you can move with some effort. And then lots of little bitty pebbles. Got it? Boulders are the things in your life that are important, but they're usually not urgent. And they help you show up as the best version of yourself in life and work. Big rocks are important and usually urgent. They move the needle in your life and work, pushing your projects forward and those big things that you want to accomplish. Pebbles are everything else. All of those little bitty insignificant tasks that can easily take over our entire day if we don't watch out. Use boulders, big rocks, and pebbles to prioritize your daily to-do list. Write a big B next to boulders, a BR next to big rocks, and a P next to your pebbles. Tackle the boulders and the big rocks first and save those pebbles for last. Finally, the last method that you can use to prioritize is pretty simple. And it's from one of my favorite books on personal development, The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papazan. To decide what to do next at any moment, ask yourself the clarifying question. It goes like this. What's the one thing such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary? Maybe that one thing is finishing up a project so you have more time for other work. Or maybe it's onboarding a new assistant so they can take on some of your tasks. This question will help you zero in on what's important right now so you can move forward and make the most of your time. If you're thinking, Hold on, Anna, all of these methods sound great, but I don't even know what my big picture priorities are. What do I do? If you're in a place where you don't even know what you wanna do next in your life, much less what you wanna do in the next five minutes, I encourage you to spend some time reflecting and figuring that out. I have an episode from my podcast, It's About Time, linked in the description below. This episode will help you with uncovering your priorities so you can then make the most of your time. So, productivity. It's great for motivating us through the day and accomplishing our goals. But I encourage you to focus on your priorities first. This way, you ensure that your productivity won't go to waste. When you know your priorities, you have a clear purpose. Having a clear purpose makes productivity worthwhile. With priorities, your productivity efforts are more efficient. You're able to work faster and more effectively in order to get things done. But most of all, you'll be on the path to creating the life that you envision for yourself. If you wanna set your priorities for the week ahead, I highly encourage you to check out my Get a Game Plan workshop. I'll cover three ways that you can win your week before it even starts. Lesson one helps you decide what matters most. Lesson two helps you design your winning week. 
And lesson three will help you define your weekly game plan. Grab access at the link below in the description. People really love this, so I hope you'll check it out. I hope this video helped you hone in on what's most important in your life so that you can spend the time that you have each day wisely. Make sure to head down to the description to check out the links I mentioned in this video. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.